eyes I know I've said it before But this is me, different party And she wanna hit the floor No, nobody can cramp a style No, nobody can cramp a style But if I go in, it's 100% and on my own so right when you walk in, you see Dior scarves. I'm actually really obsessed with their new fall and winter collection with this bright fuchsia red color. I'm high key debating on getting one piece from it just as a little souvenir, maybe like a Missa scarf, but we'll see. But this all matte gray Lady Dior bag has to be my favorite all matte that I've ever seen. I think it beats the all matte black, the all blush nude color, especially with this twilly where it's just a bow on one side. I just think this entire look is such a vibe and I just can't get enough of the grays this season. And then as you guys can see here, you have the inverted kind of toile de jouet design. And then we have a couple of their bobby bags here, which I honestly thought were pretty cool. And I love the khaki beige color over there. And you can see they have quite a few saddle bags, some D-Light bags. And guys, they had my red bean Lady Dior bag still in store. I want to buy this so bad, <laughs> but this is, I don't need another special occasion bag right now, but if I had the money to burn, I would buy this so quick. You don't even understand. Like I'm Chinese. I love red bean, but uh, it's just the most beautiful shade of mauve. But guys, they have this beautiful, gorgeous nude color that honestly is like a chameleon. When you see it against these kind of like pink toned bags, doesn't it look like a very blushy nude color? But when you actually put it against nothing, like just your body like look how taupey and neutral and cool tone this is like the difference of how versatile this kind of shade of nude is depending on what you wear it with i absolutely love it i'm obsessed um this one just takes the cake hands down and i just want more lady door bags and then obviously we have their infamous Dior Oblique bucket hat. They also have a couple of baker hats as well and some blankets and scarves on the bottom as you can see. I wish that I could spend a thousand dollars on a hat but that's just not me. Oh here I am trying on the hat. I didn't want to get my makeup on it so I couldn't like put it fully down my five finger forehead but just look how cute the shade of gray is. Alrighty, so I know that I want to get a Dior saddlebag for my birthday, but I just cannot for the life of me decide which one. I know I don't want to get this blushy nude one, but how cute is this color? I was dead set on getting this goat skin colored khaki one, but then I started trying on this navy grained one. I just, I can't decide guys. I really cannot decide for the life of me. And lastly, I did try on the Carol bag. Between the Chanel Classic Flap and the Carol bag, obviously I like the Chanel Classic Flap more, but the Carol bag is growing on me, to be honest. Hi guys! Okay, so I just left Dior. I don't even know if you can hear me. I'll put subtitles if you can't, because um, I didn't bring my AirPods, but I was catching up with my essay. Honestly, he's my freaking friend. He's my friend. We're just calling him my friend now. Um, so I'm, I was gonna go to Gucci. I wanted to try on the Dionysus bag first. But I was telling uh, Don whether or not if I should get the Gucci Dionysus because he used to work at Gucci and he was like, oh no, he's like, don't get it. He was like, it's not a good bag. And I was like, is it because of the canvas? He's like, you know, like I just, he's like, I hate Gucci now. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, I guess I'm not gonna get it. So if there isn't a line at Gucci, then I'll go in and try it on. But I was actually thinking of trying the Prada Re-Edition bag. Let me show you. Eyes. I know I've said it before, but this is me, different party, and she wanna hit the floor. No, no. Alrighty, guys. So I'm not playing any games here. I literally tried on all three bags at the same time, just because I really wanted to get a feel on how it is with my skin tone, how it would look with my body type and stuff like that. So I have both of the 2005s and the mini bag on. So when you actually look at the picture of the cameo beige with the dessert beige side by side, you can really see the undertone difference, how one is a lot peachier and the other one is a true khaki color. This was the picture that I sent to everybody where everyone told me, no, we like the peach with your skin tone way more. Like everyone said the peach, the peach, the peach, AKA the cameo beige. So yeah, so if you wanna like screenshot this and just zoom in on the bags just so you can really see the difference you totally can do that 
By far, my favorite thing about the Prada Re-Edition bag is definitely the fact that you can take the thicker strap off and turn it into an over-the-shoulder bag just with the chain. Here I have both of them in the dessert beige and the black just with the chain on its own. It's so freaking cute. I'm obsessed. And then here you have both bags again side by side. So this is the desert beige and the regular original black. Both of them are super cute. Like I just can't get enough of it. And here we have 50 shades of beige. The one he's holding up right now is the Cameo beige, but in the Safiano leather, cause you can see it has the gold hardware on it. Ironically, the one with the Safiano leather, even though it's considered Cameo beige as well, you can actually see the undertone is a little bit, like it's different than the normal Cameo beige in the nylon. For me personally, I just prefer my Prada bags to have the silver hardware, I would rather get gold hardware in other uh, designer fashion houses. But here you can see again, like all the different shades of beige. We have the Cameo beige, the desert beige, Safiano. Um, this is the desert beige, the one in the front. And then we have the mini Cameo beige. So you can really see the difference in shades of all of these bags. See, even just, we have three Cameo beiges right over here and you can see all three of them look different depending on the style of bag you choose to get. And guys, I just had to try on the Alabaster Pink Re-Edition bag. This shade of pink is the most perfect shade of pastel pink I could ever find, especially the tone of this pink against the silver hardware is absolute perfection. I was so close to buying this, but I had to stop myself. But if you can just see, like, look at this shade of pink. Tell me you don't want this. Like, you just can't. You cannot. If they make this in a mini version of it, I would buy it in a heartbeat for sure. Here's just a last little overview of the bags that I tried on. I was inside Prada for a good hour just trying to decide which one to get. Honestly, it was really hard when everything is just slightly different. <laughs> While I was waiting for them to wrap up my bag, I saw that they had their traditional little worker tote, but they made it into a re-edition size. How freaking cute. It's so tiny and it has the little pouch on the side. In white, this is actually a vibe. Like, I wasn't about this bag before, but this whole little mini situation, I'm kind of obsessed with and loving. Tell me in white, it's not cute. And you can see it's Safiano leather as well, which made me want it even more, honestly. You also have these bags that look like the multi pochette accessoire, which I thought were really funny. This shade of gray, I actually really, really enjoyed. I think I'm gonna start collecting Prada bags in different colors now. Please, someone stop me. And then they have these like AirPod cases. Like, how, how tiny can we go, really? Like, I would never buy something like this, but this is freaking adorable. Like, just look how small it is, and it's in Safiano leather, too. Floor, yeah. This is me making moves, got these feelings that I'm sure no nobody can cramp our style. No, nobody can cramp our style. We talk, we fight, we do it all tonight. Okay guys, so while I was waiting to go inside of Celine, do you see those Chelsea boots in the corner? I'm gonna show you a real picture of it. Guys, I want these boots so bad. You know me, I'm not into spending money on designer shoes, but these shoes are so freaking adorable. Like, guys, guys. So I went into Celine to try on their new Ava bag in the white canvas. And tell me this did not go with my outfit because it did. It was such a summer vibe. I love this. I think it looks so cute. Honestly, online does not do this canvas justice. It looks way better when you try it on. I also tried it in the all like lilac leather version of it instead of the canvas. I really wanted to try it on with the all like cashew color, but that one was sold out, unfortunately. Since they didn't have the Ava bag in the color that I wanted, my next best option was going to be the Triumph shoulder bag. And honestly, this bag is really growing on me. At first, when it got released, I wasn't a huge fan. But after trying it on, this is a contender, guys, for sure. Hi, guys. Okay, so I'm back in my car. My uh, makeup is all ruined. But I thought I would just give you guys a little update. I did buy something. Uh, yeah, so I'm buying this for myself, but I'm 95% per, uh, sure I'm gonna get the saddlebag for my birthday. Um, and then I bought something else today. 
uh, but I actually might exchange it. As I was walking around, I sent the picture to like a couple people and then they all said that they liked a different bag that I got and they are like, exchange it, exchange it, exchange it. But I'll, I'll like talk about it more in a future video. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's come shopping with me. I'm sorry the quality wasn't as good today because uh, I didn't bring my camera. I just brought my phone. So yeah, I was gonna go into Gucci but after Don told me that he doesn't like the Dionysus, I was just like, okay, well, if you don't like it and you worked at Gucci, then I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> um, which is fine because I legit was like so like stuck on it. And the moment he told me that I shouldn't get it, I was like, okay, I'm going to listen to you, Don. I trust you with my soul. So yeah, so then that made everything so much easier. And I was like, okay, now I know which bag I want to buy. Actually, that's a lie. Um, I was still debating. So it was really like just a matter of like, what did they have in store, you know? And the other bag that I wanted was sold out online. So there was that. Thank you guys so much for coming with me on this quick little come shopping with me trip. Just because I haven't been to South Coast in a really long time. So I was like, you know what? Let's go visit my chum. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this vlog, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Baby girl, tell me something I don't know.